hi welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to look at how to design an evaluation matrix yeah and in simple terms an evaluation matrix is a matrix uh, you design when you're going to conduct your evaluation either an impact evaluation yeah you're evaluating either a project or a program so this is a design matrix you come up with to help you and guide you in how you're going to successfully answer your evaluation questions yeah so yeah uh, a design an evaluation uh, design matrix or an evaluation matrix uh it's a very essential tool for planning and organizing your evaluation as i said uh, it's simply a table with the uh, rows or columns for each evaluation question uh the evaluation design issues you're supposed to answer such as data collection methods you're going to use the data sources analysis methods and any other criteria for comparison yeah so it interlinks your evaluation questions to the means of how you're going to actually answer the evaluation questions yeah i have a video on how to develop a monitoring and evaluation framework check it out please it also briefly gives you how you can come up with your evaluation questions if you're conducting an evaluation yeah <coughs> so this is uh, a template for an evaluation matrix one uh it includes your main evaluation questions if you have specific evaluation questions you can include them in uh indicators the data sources your data collection methods you're going to use the sampling technique you're going to use the method of and the methods of data analysis or any other limitations or risks you may face so you can include that in its optional the limitation or risk section so an example of uh, an evaluation matrix one uh, uh, i said it includes the evaluation questions so i've just given you here a brief example where you can uh, uh, one evaluation question here is to what extent does the project ensure compliance with state policies plans standards and requirements yeah and in this case your indicator is compliance with set policies plans standards and requirements and uh, your data source uh, can be set policies plans evaluation reports to help you answer that evaluation question uh, your data collection methods you may be going to do a desk review according to your uh, evaluation question uh, maybe interview with the, the project quality insurance unit. We have to conduct an interview together. That I need. Have they been compliance compliant with the state policies and plans? Uh, sampling. Uh, I give an example of purposeful sampling here because you're basically looking at uh, one unit. Maybe you're going to interview, which is uh, already selected. Yeah, and then uh, data analysis. Uh, uh since this may be normally open-ended questions and also going to do a, a desk review yeah it's going to be qualitative analysis another example of a, an evaluation question i gave is to what extent has the project improved access to sanitation and safe water and the indicator i gave is access to safe and clean water and sanitation yeah uh data sources that can be evaluation report case studies of uh, households that have have actually had uh, improved the access to safe and clean water and uh, collection methods. This can include interviews or surveys, observations, yeah, any other methods you may need to use to answer your evaluation question. Then uh, sampling technique is a random sampling of uh, households that are actually being uh, in the implementation of this project. And uh, this is going to be a quantitative analysis so that's briefly about the evaluation matrix it just summarizes how you're going to conduct your evaluation and uh, uh, what uh, design elements you need to answer your evaluation question so it helps you to plan systematically that uh, if i'm conducting an evaluation i've seen these are their objectives these are their indicators these are their outcomes so this, this is how i'm going to come up with the evaluation questions and if I come up with the evaluation questions, what are my data sources? What are my data collection methods I'm going to use? And the sample link and data analysis techniques. So it helps you to bring uh, to life a very comprehensive evaluation report. So that's it. Like and share and subscribe to my channel. Yeah, and uh, thank you all to already who have subscribed. So just like and share. Thank you.